Good morning, Rabbi Boisai. Ah, Lili Yishmasi Mimur, Sirus Mas Mordechai. Welcome, welcome to all the guests. Shalom Aleichem, what's your name? From? Wow. What's up with all these London Manchester guys? Stanford Hill. Stanford Hill. Shalom Aleichem. Who else? Ooh, we got some guys here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna call you out. I'm not gonna call you out. What's your name? DJ Walter. From? Pasaic. Wow. I used to learn in Pasaic. Who? It was. Oh, you're okay. Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem. Who? Oh, Shalom Aleichem. What's your name? Ratchets. Okay. From? What? Son-in-law. Wow. So you staying over there by them? If you need, we live next door. If you need a real place, real food. Yeah, all right. Just don't tell him, whatever. You sneak over. Mark Cornell, $101. Ellie Lieberman, 26. Raboy, say, listen to this. Ellie Genot. I don't think he's bar mitzvah yet. Maybe he is. Did he turn bar mitzvah? $6. It's the best. That's probably my favorite donation so far. Simi Chigger, 30. Huh? <laughs> Elliot Hagler, 36. Shimshin Grossness, 5. Yavaldik. Raboy I just want to share with you this video. I got this clip from many people. But this is the. Yeah, yeah, I used to golf many years ago. And then I realized it's like you're sitting there on the golf course for four or five hours without a Gemara. <laughs> Where? What? Okay, fine. We'll talk about it different now. From Aaron Altman. The Lakewood Shook, Raboy said, this is just for the last piece. I got this last piece from many people. Yishkoyach Godol. Here it goes. Check this out. The Lakewood Shook. You see how big this place is? All right, let's go. Let me show you around. With the last, the last piece. Wait, wait for it. It's just coming. Just so you know, this is the Shook that used to be at BMG. This is the best part of the Lakewood Blue Claw Shook. It's not only about Dalabinim, you get to be your Abedim. This is Muncie Arabas, this is the Tisky family's been in business 30, 40 years, direct from the source. Come on, let's hear you! I can't love him! I'm not so love him! Make a strike and nice strike and pay country. How many strikes do you usually sell a season at the Lakewood Show? Over a thousand, right? Eighty dollars a package of Adasa, and there's a shortage. Because we got a French press mobile coffee roaster truck. They make homemade pastries. How much is a ball of chalk? Eight dollars. We got the most sold. Let's get the most sold more than any other gold in here. Uh, we have many different options. Now, check this out. I I, I thought it's a lie. Check this out. You're not going to believe this. Here, listen to this. This is from the source itself, from the company themselves. Now, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow it up. All Hold right, on a second. September 28th. We're going to report here. Their top five selling Get Out posters this year. <laughs> number one. Milo Frieda were number two. Absurd number three. Rukhaim number four. Rukhaim number four. <laughs> <laughs> So listen, all I can tell you is if Reb Chaim was the number one poster, he wouldn't be going around showing people, hey, look at me, I'm the number one, I'm the number one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so here it is, Reb Oisai. The pictures are starting to come in. Here's another one, this is from Akiva Ziegler. My son-in-law bought me a gift for Yontev and has our sukkah. Have a wonderful Yontev Akiva. Dear Belly, I'd like to thank you first of all for giving me a lot of chizuk in my learning and in my life. I've attached a picture of me at the Arab meeting set there doing the dav while I was binding lulavim. Thank you. Micha Gross from London. Valdek. The voice I, here's another video. The 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 construction of the Lake Energy Good morning, Rabbi Sai. <laughs> Whoa. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. I also have you in my sukkah. I have the same thing, the same poster. I always say yesterday, it was unbelievable. We had 10 guests. 10 guests, and you could see, but just a different variety of different types of people, colored shirts, white shirts, chassidim, masnagdim, the gantzazach, everything. 
Adam Kaufman, my son-in-law, another son-in-law, found this in the Gdolim section of the sukkahposters.com. There's another type. Surprise me with it tonight. I'm so excited to hang it in my sukkah, wishing you Chag Zameach, your Talmud, Adam. Rebelli, at today's share, you were telling the story, the second version from the Rebbe of the Daj, with a girl in the market selling melons, and just realized that today happened to be the yard side of the Rebbe. Please see attached picture. May the Limerat Torah be his in Shama, the one of the young men, Ali Melch Reich, Kiryas Yoyo. Kiryas Yoyo, Rebbe Isai. I just got this email coming in here. I think it was Avi Fogel. He asked his Rav if he could use Miser money for the Shabbaton. And he asked me in a very nice way, because the Rav said, yes, for anything over the cost. What is MDY's cost, he wants to know. So it's about $50, $70 for Shabbos per person, and the rest is our profit. <laughs> so, Reb Avi Fogel, I'm sorry to tell you that the $900 doesn't cover our cost. We're, if we come out of the Shabbaton without losing $200,000, it'll be a big nace. The food alone is close to $500. Forget the hotel and the YY and all the flights and, and, and the band and, and everything that goes along. So no, so I'm sorry to say that you're gonna, you're gonna owe Meiser the full amount. <laughs> no, people think that we're making a killing on this. Wow, how could it be not? It's a mamsha chutzpah charging. It's below cost. As is, we're losing money. That's, that's what happens when you rent a whole hotel and you bring in this and then you do the top. Whatever. Okay. You're not staying in Eretz Yisrael, so stop dreaming. Stop dreaming. The coil is sponsored by no one. The Mesechta is sponsored by Lock and Lubbock families like we're in Jersey because Torah and Nachdus are the best school. Oh, the coil, nobody? And the Mesechta, no one? The Parnas HaChodesh last day, Lidl Nishmas Chayo Bas Yosef Yishkoyach, whoever you are. Parnas HaChodesh, as a schos, that our family should be blessed with health. Simcha Nachas, till 120. Parnas HaChodesh, Hatzlocha L'Schos Yosef Meir Ben Rochel. Rabo Yisai, we're in the middle of special things here. Don't get too excited. Parnas HaChodesh, Yilan Chaim Golan, Lidl Nishmat, Bat Sheva Chay, Bat Miriam. Parnas HaChodesh, Lidl Nishmat, Zachary Ben Moshe. Mazel Tov Remendi. Beis Hashem by the Chasana. Guy who guessed from Rose sent me an email yesterday. Yeah. He said that there's a Moshe Faisi in Pasco, the Nicholas Moshe, that Levium can do it together. It's for sure no problem like that. That's Levium, many Levium, they don't hold the cup together. Okay, very nice. That's it. End of story. The Parnas Ayoyim, Lisa Bond, in honor of my lovely husband, Glenn, on his 60th birthday. I'm so proud of him. Okay, now you read this one for me. What? Just read, read it nice and loud. Lisa Bond? Yeah. Lisa Bond, in honor of my husband, Glenn. My lovely husband. Glenn, on his 60th birthday, I'm so proud of him. Thank you. <laughs> for Fuhr Shlema, for Yosef ben Miriam. Amen. And the art of the man by Yosef, Chaya, Yosef ben Chaya Sora, for all the schusim that come from supporting Limerat Torah. Rabbi Isai, we're holding on Daf Memvav Omud Beis. In the middle of a sukkah. Oh. Okay. So we have a sukkah like this. We're in the middle of a sukkah where a person, he's mafresh chala, he takes off part of the flower. Instead of doing it from Rashis Arisa Seichem, from the dough, he takes it off the flower. And he gives the flower to the Kayan. And what's the halacha? The Kayan must return it. Says the Gemara, with the heavy drum over the Ochal, that's Yotzi Leo Chalam Okimacher. Smack in the middle of the. Yeah, that's where we are? Oh, where's that? Oh, Viboy Seim. I think that's where we're holding. Viboy Seim. So, there's two concerns here. The Gemara said, we learned yesterday, the concern, concern number one is that the Kayan is going to mess up. The Kayan is going to receive this flower. He's going to think that it's chala, it's a frushes chala, that it doesn't require any additional act of a frushes chala. It's part of the frushes chala. It's like trumi, you eat trumi. He's going to add it to his, the rest of his flower. Like we showed yesterday, he has two kilo, he's going to add it to it. And he's going to think that it's not a problem. And it is a problem because there's no... 
hafroshas chal from it. So the Gemara says, "Vibayis em loylam koyin meitzas tzayis." No, that's not an issue. We're not concerned. Koyin, we're going to mess up. Why? Because who do you give chal to? You have to give it to a chaver. You have to give it to someone that knows halachas. He's going to know that you can't be mafresh chal from flour. The problem is the guy that was mafresh chal, the Yisrael guy, because sober balabais nitkin oisasai. The Yisrael thinks that he was mekayim the mitzvah of a versus challah. Look, the Kohen even took it from him. So he's going to go make bread and challah, whatever he's going to make, and he's going to eat it. And it's tevel and it's aser. Says Gemara, But everybody, even the Yisrael knows that. Forget the Kohen, even the Yisrael knows that he can't do it. So why would he eat from it? He knows this halacha, but he doesn't understand he thinks that he understands the, the reason behind it and he's going to avoid the reason. He thinks the reason is because you don't give a coin an unfinished product, you don't give him a bunch of flour, what is he going to do with it? So this coin accepts the flour and therefore it is a good challah. And he's going to come to eat tevel. Look, this coin accepted it. So it's good challah. No, it's bad. And so what does the coin do? The coin has to return it, knock on his door and say, hey, take this back. By him saying, take it back, then the Israel realizes that what he did was no good. Ask the Gemara, why? Again, let's, we're really, we're poking at every single angle. We're trying to see, why can't we go this way? Why can't we go that way? Why can't the coin take truma from this challah? Why does he have to give it back? All these questions. Now we have another question. Let the Yisrael go ahead. The coin should not get absorbed. By the way, did you know that Allah is that even if I accept the flower, you still have to take challah? Oh, you didn't know that? Please be my first a little bit more from your, from your dough. We learned something similar. So, we had this yesterday, but this is the reverse case. You have two pots here. One is chayiv, they're both in Eretz Yisrael. One is chayiv truma de raisa, one is potim de raisa. One has a hole on the bottom. So it's ki'ilu, it's connected to the ground. One of the kids came over to me afterwards and asked me, what if you connect a pot that doesn't have a hole in it to the ground? So I brought it right from my mikvah. My mikvah is a pot. It's basically a, a giant bowl made out of metal. And they attach it to the ground. They, it's not part of the ground. It's on the fifth floor. And they... Once you attach it, it becomes part of the ground. So that's not, a, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about it's elevated above the ground. And do we say that it has an invisible connection to the ground because it can nourish from the ground? So if it has a hole on the bottom, so then nourishment goes through the ground into the pot and it's considered part of Eretz Yisrael, it's Chayv Truma Medeiraiz. And the other one, the pot that doesn't have a hole, is not connected to the ground. So Mishayinu Nakov, Al Nakov, he took. In this case, he took an orange off the orange tree. It was mafresh true, so it just for the apples, let's say, or the other oranges. So he took something that's not chayiv and truma to make it truma on something that's chayiv and truma. Says the Gemara, truma. What does the word truma mean? No, it's not truma. It's only chayiv in the Rabbana. It can never be truma. What it means is that the coin gets to keep it. Truma. Leave it by the coin. In this case, it's different than our case. In our case, he has to return. The coin has to return the flower. Over here, the coin gets to keep the orange. The Yagzor Yitroim. The Yisrael should go back and take truma from the pot that's chayev. So how come by us we don't say, let the Yisrael go back and take chala from a bunch of dough? It says Gemara, like we said yesterday, Kimna between monetites. There's a concept, when we're talking about two different objects, two different bowls, two different pots, so you can tell the Yisrael, hey, you messed up. You took truma from the one that's potter. This one is chayev. Let me show you. This one has a hole in the bottom. This doesn't have a hole. Oh, he gets it. He'll redo it. But when, the, when it's all one bowl, when it's one thing, he's not going to listen. He's not gonna, it doesn't make sense to him. Says the When you have one, one bowl, a person doesn't listen. But nan, we have another Mishnah. Somebody, he takes truma from a gourd of some sort. And it's spoiled. Avatiach v'nim sasuruach. He takes from like a watermelon, and we find out that it's spoiled. How often does it happen here? You buy a watermelon, and it's shvachamaisis, it's all mushy. 
The halacha is truma. Over here, it doesn't mean that the coin gets to keep it. Over here, it means it's truma. The yachzor v'yitroim, the Yisrael has to go back and take another watermelon and do it. Ah, it's considered one kli. And over here, the coin doesn't have to return the watermelon. Why not? You said in one kli, the, the Yisrael is going to say, what's going on here? It's the same watermelon. Why am I taking two trumas? So first of all, I just wanted to show you real quickly before we go to the terrets. I thought this is fascinating. I don't know if everybody knows this. Do you know what a watermelon looked like 150 years ago? It looked like this. Mine was like this. White going down the through. This is how it was. The watermelon that we have today, stop, public service. I'm going to give you a... The watermelon we have today is, is, was engineered. We only have one white. Imagine if you had to go scoop it out from the middle. That design, that swirl, that's not done with a tool. That's how it looked like. All the pictures that I found, they all looked like that with swirls. Anyway, and then we have this cartoon over here. I thought it was great. This guy makes cartoons, I think, almost every day. It says, Wallah, Bemet, Baimishili, Ashaf, Ketafti, Nishbalacha, Zabatiach, Aleph, 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 Aleph. Why I like it? Because when I was a kid in Bnei Brak, the they used to come with the horse and wagon, and the guy used to sell avatiyah, he used to scream, and then the same thing. And it's unbelievable, it's mamash. It's perfect, this thing. Anyways, if you live in Israel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And, and another thing that always happens, used to, when I used to go buy watermelon, this happened to me a lot. You go back to the guy, and you tell the guy, listen, last week was spoiled. This, is, uh, this week, I promise you, I guarantee you, this is the best watermelon you've had. And if not... So, Maise Shahaya, a Maise Shahaya with Razul Shane, of course, it's a Maise Shahaya. The guy came and the guy went to the store. So, the guy said, Listen, I, I'll make you a bet. You're right, it was spoiled last week. I, I, I hear. But this week, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be perfect. And if not, I'll give you three watermelons. So, the guy says, Fine. So, he buys the watermelon. As he's going out, he hears this old lady saying something about a half a watermelon. There's nothing. So, he says, You know what? Take half of mine. So, he chops it down and, he, and it turns out it's all mushy. So he goes to the guy, he says, listen, where's my three watermelons? He says, no, 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 if you could take it home and you find that it, you can't have that deal in the store. <laughs> so so, so, so Shiloh, Shiloh by Rev Zilberstein. I ain't chump. So, so anyways, we're holding here. The halach is like this. You open up a watermelon, you find out that it's, that it's spoiled. So you give it another watermelon. But why? According to you, the coin should give the, the, the watermelon back. It's a whole thing. It's one, it's one pot. It's like the flower. Says the Gemara, no. Because the watermelon that you gave initially is 100% truma. What we're doing now is we're penalizing you. We're giving you a knas. You have to give another one. So Mela is a big problem. If the Yisrael, think about it. If the Yisrael returns the watermelon, or he thinks, if the coin returns the watermelon to the Yisrael, it's a major problem. This watermelon is truma. He's going to eat it. He's going to feed it. He's going to do whatever. He, he thinks it's not truma, but it really is truma. That's why he doesn't return it. That's one of the reasons. So the Gemara Shani also didn't write said truma malyi. It's a perfect truma. The Rebbe Loi, Dom Rebbe Loi, Minayin Latar Minarali Yafa. What if you mess up and you give bad fruit as truma? Truma say trish, truma say truma. It's good truma. Shenemar lecisu all of chait. You shouldn't sin. Barim chem eschel by by you giving the best of the best. The levim should give to the gehadim the best stuff. That's good. Otherwise, it's a chet. Says Gemara, what do you mean sechet? It made a kaddish and see sechet lama. If you gave the kayan something that's not even truma, it, it's not valid. It's it's a it's it's garnished, and you have to take another truma. So why, where do you have a chet by giving a kayan a free watermelon that's spoiled? You get a you get a avera. Ella mekan l'toyim in aral yafesh truma say truma. No, if you give him a spoiled watermelon, it's a good truma, and you're over an avera. Okay. Zog the Gemara. So, going back to what we had in the Mishnah, just a simple thing here. Thank you, Dave Sharpen in the booth. We have two cases in the Mishnah. Iskachi b'tamara zu, iskachi b'tamara zu. It's a two strong lashayness. It seems like two different kiddushins. Iskachi b'zu, iskachi b'zu. And then we had another case. It says b'zu, 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 u'b'zu. So Vava Chibor, they're all connected. <coughs> then the mission says in the red, if she was eating, if this case, you, you probably remember this, he 
he threw the date, he gave her the date, she ate it. He gave her another date, she ate it. So, what is the red box going on? Is it going on the purple? Is it going on the blue? So we had a machloikis. It could go on both, either one. We had a, we had a, okay, so let's say it's going on the bottom one. That when you say bazoo, 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 you're saying all these dates I want to be makashi with, and then she goes ahead, and before you have a chance to give the second one, she ate the first one. Before you have a chance to give the third one, she ate the second one. So, Omar Rav, Eloi Shonu, El Do Omar La, Bizu, Ubizu, Ubizu. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, here it says, Ava Lomar La Be'elu. So, there's a difference, says the Gemara, when you say Bizu, 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 you're cutting it up. Where, or if you say Be'elu. So it goes like this. When a person, if a person says, I want to be Mikaz you with this. And I want to make as you with these talks real slow. Yeah? There's a, there's a joke that only goes really in Eretz Yisrael, but I'll say it anyways. It goes in Eretz Yisrael, it goes in Europe. A guy spoke really, really slow. So they get that. So really, really slow. He comes into the shoe store. He says, I would like uh, a pair of uh, shoes size 40. So the salesman runs real quick, brings him a size 40. Two. <laughs> that's basically what happened over here mom is like that says Hiskachi Bizu Uu Bizu and uh, he's in the middle of talking he's in the middle of being and she's eating these dates boom 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 but he doesn't even have a chance to finish the sentence and she's finishing up the dates it's big enough Kamina because he wants to be Mikadashir at the end when he finishes saying his sentence that's the Kiddush and everything before that is not but, but he was Mikhail with three dates. And the dates are gone. That's already a milva. Milva late sadnit. No, you, you can't be Mikhail with something that doesn't exist. I want to be Mikhail with three. But if he says, Be'elu, that's it. The sentence is over. And he starts giving her one, two. And she grabs and she starts eating. She's uh, never. She's very hungry. So in that case, it's a good kiddushin. Because he already finished his sentence. And he's just, he's paying up. Why? If he says bizu, bizu, he never gave it to her yet. It's all the way at the end. But over here he says Be'elu, with these, she's eating her own dates. And it's a good kiddush. So again, Rava makes a distinction between bizu, 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 and Be'elu. Oh, we have a chart here. Not this. So, First of all, Yoshi wanted to show here that Bezu 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 is from him. He's holding on to the date. Be'elu, it's hers. She, she gets to eat it and therefore there's a check mark. By Be'elu. Okay, but check this out. These are the characters he actually, you know what I should have shown? Like maybe 200 tries to get this, uh, this squirrel exactly how he wanted. He designed this squirrel. The kids are. What? From my stage. So we're talking about a sugya where we have three things. An acorn, a nut, and a pomegranate. It doesn't matter what they are. So you could say be'elu, and you could say bazoo, bazoo, bazoo. And we're going to be talking about whether she doesn't eat it, it's munach, it's right in front of you, or she eats it. Okay. So let's see. So we have a reisha and a seifa. The reisha says two things. He says, I want you to be Mekudosh with these three objects, or he says, Be'elu. Seems like the Gemara is going to say that it's one case. Be'elu is just explaining Ba'aloim Be'rimonu Be'egois. Okay. And then we have Bezu, Bezu, Bezu. And she ate, or she ate, you could say Bezu, Bezu, Bezu. And even in Bezu, 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 in between every Bezu, she eats it. That's another case. So let's see. Tanya can say the Rava. But all we're trying to prove here is there's a difference when you say bazoo, 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 and Elu. You see, the top and the bottom are two different cases. Elu and bazoo, bazoo. Rava says there's a difference. Tanya can say the Rava. It's actually Baaloin, acorn. Berimoin. Pomegranate. Ube Egois. Egois is a nut. The guy on Rosh Hashanah, the famous mice on Rosh Hashanah, he saw somebody eating a, a nut. Starts screaming at him, Shugana. It's also to eat uh, egg eggs on Rosh Hashanah. He says, why, why is it awesome? 
It's also because Egois is 17, and the word Chet is 17. So he says, so you look at him and he says, you know, Chet is also Bigmatria Chet. You just embarrassed me, Baravim. It's also a pretty big Avera. Huh? How could Chet be 18? Ches is 8, and Tes is 9. So how, how could that be? Ah, no, Chet like that. Okay, fine. Chet with that Aleph. Oh, no, on the pile. Ube, guys. Nu, so what's the the joke? You don't count the Aleph. You don't count the Aleph. Chet could be spelled like that. Tank of Ose. Im yesh bekul an shavu prutam kudeshes. Where are we? Ba'alam yirin raizei shom alayis. Oy, shomar, another case. Seems like two cases. Shom alayis kachli be'ilu. Im yesh bekul an shavu prutam kudeshes. If there's a pruta with all three of these items, there's kedusha. Bilav enu mekudeshes. And then there's another case. Bazu, bazu, bazu. Im yesh bekul an shavu prutam kudeshes. Bilav enu mekudeshes. No, another case. Bazu natalta v'achalta. As he gives her one. She eats it. Bazu natada bechanti. Voy bazu voy bazu. Enim kudeshes shas yeh bachas mim shav pruto. So now we discuss. We're going to get into it also. If one of them has a pruto, which one? The first one, the last one. Then, if one of them has a pruto, there's a kedush in it. Why? Because she ate from it, and you need a you need a pruto when he finishes. Says the Gemara. Let's just explain so you can prove Rava. Hi ba'aloyim berimim be'egos echidami. What's the case? The first case. Ilay medam Allah. Oy ba'aloyin, oy berimoyin, oy be'egoyz, here. So you go to this. Huh? Oh. If it's the word oy, either with the acorn or either with the pomegranate. Okay. Im yesh b'kul n'shav b'ru, the m'kudesh says, v'oy ka'amar. Look. It says, oy sh'am al-iskachi be'elu. Uh, <laughs> so you have to say no. It's without the oy. It's all three. Isn't that the same as the other case? So you have to say that the first case is be'elu. Let's see. Does he put it in here? Yeah. Here you go. The first case is Be'ilu. The second case is Bezu Bezu. And they're different halachas, like Rava said. It's two different things. Mm-hmm. It says the Gemara, oh, It says, It's at the end, the end of the bride. How can you say the beginning is talking about an Elu if we're saying the same case in the Seifa? Oh, sorry, in the, here, in the top part, look. So what does Aloy Rimu Vegas? Aloy Rimu Vegas, the orange you said is Elu. So then what would you say Oishomar? Or in the case he said Beilu. Seems like you're talking about two different cases. Says Gemara, Mikhlad Rej Okay. The top, all those four lines is one case. What's Baloy Barim Vegas? When he said Elu. Fine. Now, the Rai is, Viktani Seifa, Bezu Natal Devachaltoi. He said, Bezu, Bezu, Bezu. If there's a Pruta there, there's a Kedusha, and there's a Kedusha. Bilu Reisha, like a Maflik Ben Achaz Menachas. In the first part, Be'ilu, this is literally what Rav was saying. There's no difference if she ate it, not. Shema Minok, Kalecha, Doma, La Be'ilu, Ki Kachla, Menafshal Kachla. Even if she ate from it, does it make a difference? It, in the safe, it makes a difference because he said bazoo, bazoo, bazoo. The Rashi is talking about Be'elu, like Rav said. We say Be'elu. Even if you eat it, she's eating her own stuff. She's allowed to eat whatever she wants. It's already hers. Fine. End the story. That's Rav. We have good proof to Rav. Now, Hanich Lamando Amar over here, Rashi explains it's not a question on Rav or the, or the Raya we just brought. Gemara says like this Hanich Lamando Amar Asevakai. Like we said before here. Um, what's the last one? Oh, other it is, but cool up, fine. There's more? Rasha, safe. Okay, here. When you the Omar, safe, you know what? I want to get to this thing just for a second. Going back to this, yeah? 
In our Mishnah, the question is, does the, that story that she ate one, the guy threw her a date and she ate it. Is it talking about the beginning of the Mishnah or the end of the Mishnah? Is Kashi with tomorrow, is Kashi with tomorrow, and she was eating in between? Or is it on the case of Bazoo, Bazoo, Bazoo? This, this whole sugi is going well, according to the, to the Mandoma that says, I say for And as long as at the end there's a Shavu Pruta, I don't care how much she ate. He said, Bazoo, Bazoo, Bazoo. There's a Pruta all the way at the end. Right, Avi? That's what, that's what you're asking. Hanami <laughs> Just uh, as, after to throw this in because I failed to mention this yesterday. What was the first Machloikis in Klai Yisrael? Smicha. Smicha and Yantiv. Smicha and Yantiv considered using an animal on Yantiv. Are you allowed to be so lean on the animal for, for carbon? So there's an interesting Taisus. The Taisus says that the first Machlaikas is what we had yesterday, it's similar to what we're discussing now, is when a per- there's a milva, a person gives a woman a milva, alone. He's Michael alone, but it, he gives her, let's say, a million dollars. And there's one dollar left. He says, I'm Michael, you a million dollars, but I want you to be Mkudish with the dollar I left. So what does the guy, what does she have in mind? Is she excited that she just gained a million dollars? Oh, wow, she's super excited she just got a dollar. You think it's the million dollars. No. So the machloik is whether she has das on the, on the dollar or das on the loan. Because if she has das on the loan, unless he was mekadosh with that hana of the mechila, then it doesn't work. The loan is not, you can't be mekadosh with loan. So that, says Tais, is the first machloik is in Klai Yisrael. And that has to do with David Melech and Goliath. Because Shaul said, whoever kills Goliath, I'll pay you money. So he owed David money, so that's a loan. But David also came with a hundred arlas of the plishtim and that is a Shavu Pruta. The matter is, that's what Tosh says, it's the first Machlaikas. And he explains why everybody thinks Smich is the first Machlaikas. <laughs> it's in Tmura. Ayin in Tmura. Not here in this Sugya. Says the Gemara. Oh. But according to Rav and Shmuel, that say that this, so this case of Oichelas is talking about the beginning of the Mishnah. So they're not talking about that there's a pruta at the end. They said the big chiddush is that even though she's eating, she's having, she's having immediate hana. So the, they're not saying that there's a pruta on one date, they're saying, in general, all the dates together have somewhere in there, there's a pruta. Because they're talking about the case of iskachi, iskachi. But the, the lotion of bazoo, bazoo, bazoo is a general lotion. It's like all of them together. It's a cloud. Probably uh, like a chasha. Okay, this is a Rebbe. Let's just say what Rebbe says. Rebbe says it doesn't matter if you say Kezayis u Kezayis, you can say Kezayis Kezayis. If a person doesn't use the word and, do you split his words? So like by us, he says Bazu, Bazu, u Bazu. Is he splitting? Is he dividing? Is he saying... Each one individually, there's a pruta somewhere. Each one is a pruta, each one is a different kiddushin. Or not. Rebbe says, it's a split. I don't care what he says. Even if he says, kezayis, 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 zu, 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 they are separate individual things. And Mela, so this goes like Rebbe. So what, what's the machloikis? There's just real quickly, in, in terms of pigo, when the kayan thinks to himself when he's doing a, on Avaidah, in the base Amigdash, he thinks to himself, he's going to eat it outside of its allotted time. Typically, a carbon, you could eat it for two days. He thinks, I'm going to eat this carbon in three days. He's a he ruined the carbon, he's Chayef Kars. But it has to be a beautiful, pure machshava, a bad machshava. It can't have any chitzonius in there. So if he also thought that he's going to eat it outside of the, lot, of the, of the place, of the market, unless you have to eat it in your shalim, and he says, I'm going to eat it outside of your shalim, he also ruins it. Yeah, he has two machshavas, two bad machshavas. Mechutz l'makim. Mechutz l'zman, it's not a mechutz l'zman. It doesn't work. It's not a good pigo. Because pigo has to be by itself. 
So he says that if you say this should be pigo, and then he says this should be mechutz lezman, it works because each one is individual. So even if he added, he says and pigo and this kezayis u kezayis, it doesn't matter. Each one is individual. It does work if you said pigo first. Fine. Zok the gemara Omer Rav. Rabbi said this is a famous, famous sugya in yeshiva. We learned it for over a month, and today we're going to learn it in five minutes. Omer Rav. Hamakash b'milva. Already familiar with this. Can you use a loan? You gave this woman a million dollar loan. And you want to be Michael or the loan and say, in, in lieu of that, I want to marry you. Is that as good as giving her uh, a ring that costs $25? Omarav, Hamakash bin Milva, Even if you Michael the loan, a million dollars, no kiddushin. Why? Milva loit sonitna. You want to see Machlaikis? Milva is to be used, you give somebody money to spend, and it's not here in the world. What is she? Now, yes, again, let me chazer over. Rashi brings it down as well. We can see it on the bottom of the almond. If he would say straight out, I want to be mekadish you with the hana, not the million dollars, but with the benefit and the enjoyment that you have right now that I was making you the loan, and she says, okay, then it is a kiddushan. But over here, that's not what he did. He wants to be mekadish with an existing loan. That, yeah, a lot of times uh, you pay a, you pay a loan, you you make a loan, eh, nothing. You don't have that enjoy. It's nothing. It's not here. That's not what the Gemara is saying. Lamai said the loan is not here. Says so Gemara name it katanoi. So we have a few of these things in our sugya. Perhaps it's a machlokes tanoi. Rav is the first amayra last tana. Perhaps this is an earlier machlokes. <clears throat> says I'm kind of familiar and. And each one of the Gemara says, no, no, no. This, that's not what we're talking about over here. Different. That's a different machlaikas. Hamakash bin milvedim kudash v'yashorim bin kudashas. Here, mefurashim machlaikas. Could you be mekash with the milver or not? The Gemara says, no, that's not the machlaikas. My lab ba'akim iflegi, the mar sova milver lo yitzah nitno, mar sova milver lav lo yitzah nitno. Perhaps, and Rashi explains, what do you mean? Uh, somebody's going to hold that a loan is not to be used? No, of course. But a loan is to be used in a very specific way for a business. Not for you to spend in a mall to stop and waste money. I gave you this money so you could do something positive with it to invest in a business. Milva Lavloit on it. No. Says Gemara Vitis Barayim Asefa. Veshavim Bemechesh is a kana. If I am, I want to buy your house. I lent you a million dollars. I tell you, listen, give me your house in lieu of the loan. Does that work? Yes. Why does it work? But I didn't give you anything today. How can you buy a house with nothing? When you buy a house, you have to give either money, you have to. A star, something. How did I buy a house? <clears throat> yeah, I'm just moving away. It's not no, but my kani. Where, where, where's the king? No, we're not. You're right. We're not talking. This is not a machloikis of milva, not milva. This, so we have no right to rav. Rav says I'm a kaddish from milva. Ain't mukudeshes. You said this is machloikis tanoim. No machloikis tanoim. Why? We're talking about a completely different case. Vachem ha'iskinon. Yen shomel iskashli b'mana. V'nim tzamana chaser dinner. Also a case that we once had. I'm going to give you a hundred. I want to be cash you with a hundred dollars. And she counts it. He was off by a dollar. There's only 99. Mekudeshes or not Mekudeshes? That's a machloikis. Ma'ar sovar. Benitz of Monach HaSadina. Ma'ar sovar. Ksiv la milsa la midbe. It's not a kiddush and why. She'll never go back to him and say, hey, by the way, you remember that day that you proposed to me and gave me, it was only 99. No, for a dollar, she's not going to, but, but Lemaisa, she agreed only on a hundred. It's not a kiddushin, because she's too embarrassed. She's not going to have a problem, and therefore it is kiddushin. He just has to pay it up. So Mela, okay, fine. What is this similar to a different case? This guy's mamish, a shyster. I want to be mm-hmm. because you with a hundred. She opens up the envelope, and there's a single dollar bill. What's that, Lacha? Mekudashas. Is that a steer to what we just said? If he gave her 99, missing one, not Mekudashas. Russell Dinner, I raise Mekudashas. Yashlin, he just has to make it up. Huh? Lay Makatanoi, Amrel Shmaita. Is this a Machlis Tanoi? Amri, no. Monachasa Dinner, Ksifala Milsa, Limit Bay. Nobody goes back for a dollar. It's too, I'm not going to belittle myself and tell my husband, hey, you owe me a dollar. Monachasa Dinner, Limit Bay. If you owe the whole thing, like Ksifala Milsa, Limit Bay. That should go back and get. Mesve. I want to be. I want you to be to me with the deposit that I gave you. 
I'll give you the positive. Not alone, or the positive. And she said, fine. I remember the guy gave me $100 to watch, and now, let me, I'll, I'll be miscat. She goes to the room to take the $100. Oh, now it's hers. She realizes that it's completely stolen or lost. If, let's say, the Ghana is a big tzaddik, a frum guy, he says, you know, I have to give a little maisa on the gneva. So let me just leave it for her. It takes 99 and leaves a, a, a dollar there. Yeah? So you saw that? One case is a picodin, a deposit. The next is a milva. A milva is different than a picodin in this case, the Gemara says. You see that milva alone, I don't need money right in here. If, I, if, she, if I am moichled alone, she becomes Mikudish, what? So Rashi says over here, it's with the Hana of the Mechila. Sometimes the Hana is greater than the actual loan. Okay? There's a whole thing that the Ben Shai said that a guy dropped a coin into like one of those uh, sewer holes, whatever, and he paid more money. He had more Hana when he was able to fish it out. He paid somebody to fish it out. It was worth more than the actual, the actual thing. Fine. She reminds me of another Maisa. I, I love this Maisa. I actually hate this Maisa. Guy was on a boardwalk with his wife, from guy, and her ring fell into the water. So they, they marked the place, and they got a, a scuba diver to come out there. And the guy went down, and the guy comes out, he goes, I didn't find anything. Uh, he didn't say it like that, but the Maisa, he didn't find anything. Like, what do you do? Like, why would you hire this guy? Even if he, if he found it, why in the world would he bring up this $10,000 ring? Uh, probably buried underneath a rock. And then and, and come back the next day and then and, and take it out. Fine, whatever. Let me show Milva, Vishal, Yishtayim, and Ashur, Brut, and Mekudeshes. Reb Shimon, Allah, Zohim, and Mishum, and Meir. Milva, Tafim, Zayin, Omid, Beis. Harei, He, Kipikadon. He says no. Milva and Pikadon are one. So you need a, a, a pruta left over. Just like we said by Pekadeh, you need a pruta, so too by milva you need a pruta left over. You can't just be Mekadosh with a milva. Says the Gemara, oh, is that a problem to Rav? Rav says you cannot be Mekadosh with a milva. What happened? What is that? I didn't see what happened. Ah. It's good. That's on a plane, no? No, that's a bus. It's a bus. That's a bus. I don't know. It's a, either a bus that looks like a plane because it has three lights and three things. It looks like a plane. It's a plane. Look at the window. It's a plane. He's saying it's a plane. Shalom Aleichem. It's a good thing you aren't picking your nose, Sadiq. Vilayishtayimena shavu pruta loy. She's watching the shear. He's watching the shear on the plane. Beautiful. All right. Akopan, you see from here, from this whole machleg, is it a pruta or not a pruta? But you could be mekadish with a loan. Rav says you cannot be mekadish with a loan. Says, says Gemara, O my Rava, Vatizbara, Homitaratsta. So Rava says, listen, this whole price is off. And once the price is off, all we need to do is make a little switcheroo. Go from yes to no, and the yeah, no to yes, it's gewaldic. It's a messed up b'risa. Why? Uh, sponsored for all those in the Rufus Shlema by Kinnervations, in honor of my uncle, Rebbe Chon, and Pressman. What's this begotten? If he took full responsibility that if something happens, he's a chrais, he has a chrais. Hainu milva. Remember on Omer Aleph, we said there's a difference between a milva and a pikadon according to the Tanakhama. There's no difference. When, when you take full responsibility, then, then um, a deposit and a loan are the same. It's the same Allah. He didn't take upon himself any responsibility. She, he, but okay, yeah. So why are you telling me two different cases? Here, Mendi. I know your head is in the, the whole Vard and the Chasana, but listen, it's very simple stuff. This is, I'm telling you, Shiva, we spent time to work. It's a five minute sugya. What? I'm just kidding. Chasana, it is a month sugya. 
Why are we saying two cases, jumping from a milva to Pikadon? Tell me, in one case, Pikadon, I'll give you an Afkimino. What's the symbol of, in a case where he took a Christ, it's like this. In a case, she didn't take a Christ, it's like that. Why are you telling me two cases of a, of a milva and a Pikadon? Niflo, give it to da. Within a Pikadon itself. If she took responsibility, even if there's nothing, no brother, she's Mekudosh. So, so Melo, what this whole price is off. Once it's off, then we can do whatever you want. Everybody agrees to Rav now, because all I do is I switch a word, I go from yes to no. Ain't a mekudashas. A second ago you said the brisa said mekudashas, but since I proved to you that the brisa is a bad brisa, it's a, it's a meshubash. So mail all you need to do is stick in one word, ain't a, and it fixes everything. Do a one eighty. Reb Shimon ben Elazar, I remember Shimon ben Meir, milva harei kipikadim. If there's a pruta left over, mekudashas. If not, not. Says the Gemara, be Mikeh Mifligi. Omer Rabba, what's the machlokes? Omer Rabba, ashkachtinu lerabbanu beberav. I saw the Rabbanon in the base Medrash. The Yazvik Amri, the Milva versus Bailam Chazoro, who I didn't like. This is a beautiful thing, Rabbi Say. The big Shiloh. When you give somebody a loan, could you, first of all, go back to and say, hey, you know what? No, no, no. I don't want, I, I'm not giving you the loan. Somebody told me, Maisa Shahoya yesterday, he went to the bank, they wrote him a, a bank check. What is it called? A certified check or whatever you call it. And as they were walking out of the bank, the teller said, oh, I made a mistake. It, it's, not in, um, it's not in the system, whatever. It didn't... Kept on walking. Kept on walking. I said, wow, that's gutsy. Okay. <laughs> he said, no. And he says, listen, it's a cashier's check. Depo- and he deposited and it worked. 500,000 check. If I give you a loan, could I say, give it back to me or not? What's the Shiloh? What, what exactly, do you, what makes it the other person? Because you gave it or they have to use it? Let's say you want to borrow my car. Yeah, it happens. I want to borrow your car for a week. I give you the keys. And they say, you know, no, 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 my kids are coming from Chutzla. I need the car. Could I take it back or no? I already have the keys. Maybe, as long as you didn't drive off, I could take it back. And if I drive off, it's not a joke. There's a mission, in, uh, where was it? We had a mission, the guy lent somebody something and then he went and he took it and he, and he had a bite on it. Okay, rent it from it. You, people do things like this. Okay, not everybody. We're talking about Allah over here. Theoretical. So it goes like this. Could he take it back? Could he regret the whole loan? And what about who's responsible for Oinsim before he gets to use the money? No, once you give the money to the Loiva, it's his, to the bar, it's his. Rav was talking about a case where she started using the money. Once she starts using the money, it's 100% hers. It's not a Shiloh. Wait, wait, wait. Once you give the money to the borrower, it's he's responsible. If he gets held up, it's his problem. Yeah, there was a Misa. I don't know if this has anything to do. A Misa came out There was two guys walking and they, they got held up. So one guy took out his wallet, gave it to the guy. The other guy took out from his pocket, he had a thousand dollars. Before he gave it to the guy that was holding him up, he says, Hey, Ruve, you remember I borrowed a thousand dollars from you? Here you go. He gives it to him. Okay. Fine. I call upon him. How much do you use it? How much not? The Rishus Levi Kaim. My timer. Legar Mishayla says the Gemara. When you borrow a kli, Mashayla the Hadra Bein a Chayav Oitzim. When you borrow a car, you Chayav in anything that happens, you're Chayav in Oitzim. Milva like Halshkin. Certainly, Milva that you don't have to give back the same thing. You're Chayav in everything. El Ha'Cham Milva Rishus Bailam Chazal. So he says, okay, forget the Oitzim part. The Oitzim you're right. You Chayav. You Chayav. Everybody agrees. The bar is Chayav. We're talking about. Could the guy have charata? Could the lender have charata before he uses the money? Just let's do these three lines here. The Ella, somebody borrows an axe, a car from his friend. Dialogue is like this. You hear this? If he uses the axe, drives away, then he cannot take it back. I gave you the axe, I gave you the keys. And you didn't do anything with it? You didn't, you didn't start driving? Like an eye. Okay, that's uh, their Chagav. We don't have any time to talk about it. But if a person is makab on himself, something on Rosh Hashanah, makab on himself to learn, whatever it is, even to diet, you got to do it right away. Otherwise, like an eye. You have to jump into it. Once you start, great. But if you didn't start, then it could go five. 
Bika boy knoi. Loi me loi knoi. Says Gemara, let me get tanoi, amor el shmaite. Is this a machloig tanoi? Loi. At the loi pligi yelo be milva de lehodre be eno. This is only alone. I would be sheila. So you want to tell me that the same thing applies to a lot to. So something that I lend you, I the hundred be ino. You got call bika boy in like bika boy like no. When it comes by alone, maybe the machlagis. But when it comes to lending an object, you must use it in order for the guy that lent it to you not to take it back. Raboy say, have a wonderful day. Motzei yontif, Motzei Shabbos, nine thirty.